Hey guys, I just woke up. It's 6 a.m. Youth season, opening day. I'm gonna go out to my blind and we're bow hunting for turkeys. Hopefully we can get one. Let's go. Hey guys, we're in here in the blind today. I've got two gobblers on my right gobbler and several pretty far behind me, but the two over there are pretty close. Should be good. See if I can't get one. I'll call right now and see if Comment below how long you think this turkey's beard is. It looks like a monster from this angle. Guys, I am so mad. That bird came out of nowhere. Full stride. It was perfect. Opening day here in North Carolina. He came up and started hammering that decoy. I always see these things. They're like, oh, you see those things on videos. You know, those are 1 in 20. Those things never happen. Really, they'll just walk in, not even strutting, look around a little bit, and you really gotta pick your shot. This was like a full-on gobbler coming at the decoy. And, man, I thought I could not miss. That's where I went wrong. I thought I couldn't miss because he was eight yards away. So I shot when he was moving because he was up there trying to stabilize or whatever. And I shot when he was moving. And I should have waited until they got still. So what actually happened here is I'm shooting a way heavier arrow, and I set it at 20, and I just thought that it wouldn't drop any, because I'm used to shooting at 20 and 10, it doesn't really drop at all. So I was fine with it, but then when I shot it back on paper with these stiffer, heavier arrows, I actually hit about four inches high. So and you can see that in the video, I hit a little high. Guys, this footage is from the afternoon hunt after I missed that big gobbler up close. And this guy kind of came out of nowhere. All these other birds were already in the field, and he came out of nowhere alone. And he comes right to the blind at nine yards, and he just doesn't come to the decoys. And I'm right-handed, so I have to kind of shoot to the left. And the way the blind was set up, I just could not shoot where he was. So I actually had to watch him walk by at nine yards which eventually leads to me picking up the shotgun for the next time, because now I've missed one, one bird and had an opportunity to another. Hey guys, heading out. 
Uh, I've got my bow. I really want to get one with the bow, but after having two good toms pass me when I could have easily taken them with a shotgun and I either missed or just didn't have the shot with the bow, I'm not going to take the chance. I really don't want to shoot them with a shotgun, but I also look over and say, might as well lock one down this year and get one next year because, I mean, later in the season, because last year I went bow only and I didn't get one I'll be honest uh, I had several come in and stuff but I didn't even any end up shooting any arrows just they have to come in just the right way for archery and just I don't know I'm struggling even though it's only a second day of the season I clearly don't show much willpower here but I'm gonna try to get it done with the bow but if it hangs up or for whatever reason I don't want to take a certain shot I will Definitely lean down and grab the shotgun. Catch up with you guys in the blind. So what you guys don't see in the video here is there was a group of jakes and a gobbler and I think two hens and they were all behind me and for no reason at all the hens just started putting and they left for about 30 minutes and I just gave some really light soft yelps and they kind of came back slowly and again they started doing the putting thing so I managed to put my bow down take the both windows down to try to get that one on film and eventually just the gobbler kind of walked by as they were all leaving and it worked out camera was out of focus, but I got him. I'm gonna go make sure he's down. Man, the camera is out of focus. <sighs> that sucks, but I'm gonna go check him out. He wasn't the biggest gobbler ever, but he was a gobbler. I'm so glad I could finally get it done today. It's the second day of the season. Not really finally, but I've had some close calls and it's just nice to get one on the ground. Uh, it's not the biggest bird ever, but I'm just happy to get a bird. Um, I did have to put the bow down because they were behind me and I couldn't shoot through a little bit of the brush with the bow, but we got him. I'd say it's, it's definitely a two-year-old bird. It's a nice bird. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure to click subscribe um, for this beautiful turkey right here. Hope it'll taste really good. Thanks, guys. So, I'm gonna measure his beard right now. If I had to guess, I'm gonna say Probably, but we'll see. Guys, leave a comment and tell me how long you think this beard was and how long the biggest turkey you've ever killed was. Okay, I'd say right. <sighs> He's a good, pretty bird. I wasn't sure if I was going to shoot him, but when he was back there, they were putting. But he put as soon as I saw he had a full fan and not like the typical Jake fan. I knew I wanted to take him. That's kind of my rule. I don't care so much about the beard as I do that they have a full fan. That's where I know. So, thanks for watching, guys. The next hook is going to be with a bow. I'm not even going to bring the shotgun to the woods. I'm just so blessed to have this turkey. They're just such beautiful animals. Thanks for watching.